Hello, I'm Scott Sprinson. I'm the managing director in the corporate ratings department at Standard & Poor's. And among my responsibilities, I serve as an analyst in the oil and gas group. Uh, yesterday, February 6th, we announced that we were affirming the ratings of Chesapeake Energy at double B plus. However, we revised the rating outlook to negative from stable. And I wanted to recap our reasoning behind the outlook revision. Uh, Chesapeake uh, has been on a tremendous growth trajectory in, in recent years. Uh, in fact, they are responsible for 30 percent of the overall increase in natural gas production in the U.S. over the last five years. And they now account for about 9 percent of U.S. natural gas production. But the technology that's enabled Chesapeake to increase its, its production has been implemented by others as well, you know, such that there has been uh, the development of excess production in, in the U.S. market, you know, which coupled with a fairly mild winter has led to depressed natural gas prices. And that's undermined the value of Chesapeake's large sunk investment in, in natural gas. And it's also uh, led to the company being in, in a, a substantial negative free cash flow uh, position. That is, their investment is outstripping their internal cash generation. And that's something that had been expected in any event, uh, given the company's growth goals. But it, it's become much more severe, we believe, than, than we had assumed, say, going back a year ago. And one reason why uh, there's such a cash flow deficit at this juncture is that Chesapeake is in the midst of a tr uh, transition to more of a focus on crude oil than natural gas, with crude oil having uh, much brighter pricing prospects than natural gas at this point. Uh, but on the one hand, uh, Chesapeake uh, might have been cutting back on spending at this point if, if they wish to conserve cash and uh, minimize the, the the cash outflow. But on the other hand, uh, judging from savings by management, they, they feel that uh, continued heavy spending is, is necessary to complete this uh, transition to, to more of a, a liquids uh, focus. So we, we, we think that the, the gap uh, likely has grown between cash inflows and cash outflows. And that's uh, going to pose quite a challenge to the company to fill, uh, especially uh, when they're expecting to reduce total debt at, at the same time. And Chesapeake has been quite skilled at uh, financial engineering, uh, that is in pursuing a whole range of innovative uh, financing transactions over the past year to fund their operations. Uh, but the, the, the challenge of doing that is, is going to be considerable we believe, over the next year. It is an asset-rich company. They have the ability to uh, continue selling assets, entering into joint ventures, uh, doing uh, what are called volumetric production payment uh, financings, uh, royalty trust transactions, MLP transactions, et cetera, all, all of which they've done over the past year. But their ability to do that in a cost-effective manner is very much dependent on capital markets uh, conditions, and we think that if, if leverage grows on an adjusted basis as a result, or if coverage metrics uh, become too weak, that the rating would be in jeopardy and would have to be reassessed. So that's a very quick uh, recap of what is a, a complex situation. But if you want to read uh, more about our, our thinking in this action, uh, you could go to our website. Uh, specifically www.video.standardandpours.com and if you look under the related content tab you'll see our, our research update uh, from yesterday. Uh, you're also welcome to call me and you'll see my contact information on the research update. Thank you.